Welcome back, everybody. The government is taking action on an ingredient that could threaten your health. This week, the FDA announced a ban on trans fats. Food companies have three years to comply. Our Carrie Beal tonight has more on the ban and what it could mean for some Acadiana businesses. When you walk down a grocery aisle, you're likely to come across a food with trans fats. Margarine or baked goods like muffins, um, crackers, a lot of snack foods, um, croissants. And most donuts. Over the phone, the owner of Ricky Mesh's Donut King says they currently use an oil that contains trans fats, but have experimented with oils without. We served it next morning, you know, you couldn't tell. We had, we had both of them side by side, the one fried and, and the, you know, and it was, it, was, it was all right. The only reason he hasn't switched over yet? At the time that we tried it a few years ago, it was more expensive than what we used. The FDA estimates this could cost food companies over $6 billion over the next 20 years. But Americans overall would save $140 billion in health care costs. By decreasing trans fats and decreasing the big players that are causing uh, taxing our health care system, like heart disease, diabetes, and even cancers, that can make we can get a lot of return for our investment. Many food companies already taking action. Many of these foods do not contain trans fats. So if you want to know if your foods still do, just look on the label. Carrie Beal reporting, KTC TV3. Well, with just over a week to go before the drawing for the St. Jude Dream Home, why not take a chance and head over to actually see